Liam, uh, Devin, really, I mean, after kind of scratching out tank completions the last couple of weeks, he, he was just kind of in the zone. What did you sense from him and just how he was really feeling at throwing the ball? Yeah, I mean, the kid's preparation, uh, his practice habits came came to life. You know, the, the, the player that Devin Leary is, um, you know, really came to life tonight. And, um, you know, I thought he played extremely well, operated extremely well. Um, you know, really played well enough for us to win. And, uh, you know, proud of the kid. You know, really, really proud of the way he competed, proud of the way he saw the field and gave kids opportunities to make plays. And, um, you know, thought he took a huge step forward for us. On the flip side, the run game kind of pretty struggled. I mean, Ray had the touchdown, but it wasn't a Ray Davis game. What, what, why did the run game not quite get done today? Uh, I think they're a pretty good front. Uh, they penetrated us a little bit. Uh, we'll have to go back and look at the film in terms of the true reason why uh, it wasn't as successful as we would have liked it to be. Um, but, you know, things happen, you know. I mean, at the end of the day, yes, we would have liked to be able to run it better, but we still, you know, did enough to keep them off balance and, um, you know, throw the football, you know, efficiently, protect efficiently uh, for us to win that game. I mean, how, I mean, how bittersweet is this for, you, for your offense to finally get some rhythm and click but not win the game? Yeah, really, really frustrated for the kids. You know, just really uh, just feel kind of gut-wrenched and sick for the kids um, because they, they prepared so hard. They uh, practiced so hard. Um, they were so in tune with each other, the chemistry, the connection throughout the course of the week. And then obviously tonight, um, you know, they played well enough for, for us to win and, and I've got to be better for us. It felt like, you know, the, the last drive, it felt like if the offense had one more shot, kind of, were you up in the booth just kind of like, please, please, just one more shot. Like it felt like they had one more in them. Yeah, you know, I mean, I, you always want to try to get the ball back and, and, and have an opportunity to go give the kids a chance to win. and. Um, you know, the way we were throwing it and protecting it. We had confidence, you know, who knows what's going to ha happen, but you have confidence that the kids are going to go down and believe. And um, that was the thing that you saw tonight was a true belief. Liam, Liam, we, Liam we saw Barry on the day kind of get going tonight in the way that they had the season. It's got the loss. How do you build off that? Yeah, really proud of those two. You know, really am. Uh, they were so locked in. Uh, throughout the course of the, you know, the bye week and, and, and this week of preparation, um, you know, their communication with with the coaches, with their teammates, their, uh, you know, just their energy was something that, um, you know, we, we can build off of, we can feed off of. I sure do, and um, you know, really proud of the way they competed, proud of the way they played, and um, you know, just uh, wish wish we could have done a little bit more for them. William the second fourth down did Devin make the right read there yeah I mean to, the one on the one to, uh, to Demi, to Demi. Yeah. it's a one-on-one -on -one. it's a wheel route you know we had a post wheel deep kind of sit mesh concept so you're going wheel to shallow and uh, yeah I mean, it's a one-on-one -on -one opportunity throw one-on-one -on, -one on a wheel route and you know we got to make a play you know I think the shallow ended up being wide open but he's throwing the one-on-one -on -one to, to, to his guy and you know, I, I wish I could have been better uh, for those guys in that situation, maybe to give them, some, you know, different different play. But um, you know, that's definitely one that you know I'm sure we'd like to have back. Cattis, I know I do. I'm sorry, Coach. Caddis and Dingle really had some big plays again tonight uh, to soften up that middle a little bit. What did you see out of those guys? Yeah, I mean, just came ready to play. I mean, you saw the look in Caddis's eyes earlier in the game. You knew he was ready to play. Um, Dingle has, has been coming on for us. We've you know, been trying to get those guys more involved, and, and it showed up tonight. Um, you know, the, the tight ends are always super reliable for the most part from the you know, accountability standpoint and uh, alignment, assignment, but tonight I thought they made some plays. Being against a front that creates a whole lot of disruption, pass protection seemed pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, our kids stepped up to the challenge. I mean, um, there, there really wasn't, I don't know how many times we ended up throwing it, but uh, I don't know how many you know, true rushes there were. I mean, we had the one sack on the, uh, you know, we're trying to hit a halfback wheel. They beat us on the sack, but other than that, I thought we did a fantastic job protecting the quarterback tonight, and the quarterback did a great job, you know, with decisions, timing, and accuracy, and, um, you know, it's, it's just 
kind of gut wrenching, you know, when you, you have the kids play the way they did. And was it perfect? No, but um, you know, just uh, want to be better as a coach. It seemed that you guys used the pass game a lot early on, just to open up the run game. But the run game just couldn't open up. How frustrating is that for you, especially early in the game to set the tone? Yeah, fr you know, frustrating. That was something that we had kind of talked about as a, as a unit needing to establish, wanting to establish was was the physicality in the, in the run game. So I, I really, it's hard. That's like the one thing you don't always know because you don't get the tight shot, obviously, in a, in a game. It's hard to see from the side maybe why a run does or doesn't hit. Um, so we'll have to go back and, and look at some of those things. Um, you know, I know that they have a, a, a strong, penetrating, you know, violent front four. Um, their linebackers are really good players, I'm, I'm, and, and I knew early on the first two drives they challenged us. They played eight-man fronts with cover one behind it, and uh, loaded the box up on a couple runs early on that we weren't obviously uh, have a lot of success against. And then that's what kind of opened up some of the pass game and loosened things up a little bit, but never enough to truly get a run game going. You think with that eight-man front, they were trying to say, hey, let, Devin, you're going to beat us. Mm -hmm. Ray is not. Yeah, that was kind of our thought process going into the game was maybe that that's something that they would do to, to play a little bit more man coverage, jump into some more seven, eight-man fronts to uh, challenge us, right, to, you know, to challenge us. And I, and I think that the – you know, the O-line quarterback and, and pass catchers all uh, stepped up to the challenge and, and gave us a chance to go win. I mean, you go down two drives, you kind of just down 10 nothing right early on. And you go for four on fourth and don't get it. And, uh, you know, just some of those opportunities, then you come back and you're in it and you're back and forth and then you just don't execute it. Or, or I need to be better on some of those fourth downs and third and long situations to give us a better chance to be successful. Liam, when these guys know that they're being challenged like that, yeah. right? Like you said, you had a feeling that might be the case. They yeah. respond the way they did, especially yeah. Leary and some of the wide receivers. How do you keep them from feeling discouraged when it doesn't result in a win? Yeah, they're over there keeping me up, which is nice. You know, I mean, those those kids just now are, you know, uh, you know, trying to keep me up. So. Uh, we all care about each other a lot. You know, I care about those kids. They, they, I think they care about me. And, you know, I, we all want to be better. But I was, you know, we did take a step forward in, in, a, in a part of our offense that had been lacking. And so if you can't build off that, I mean, what are we doing, right? I mean, I know it's, you know, the result isn't what we wanted. We're all sick about it. But the process was clean. And, the execution in so many ways was better than it was. So, um, you know, I really do hope we can build off of it because it was fun to watch. One more, guys, because we had Devin here.